From Peninsula TV studio in San Carlos, Pacific Bell and the Chronicle present the Bay Area's hottest game show, Peninsula Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Thank you very much. Thank you so much and welcome to the second game in our semi-final round of Quiz Kids second season. We've already had one exciting game where Menlo Atherton took the spot for next week. And we've got two tremendous teams here who are going to need all the speed, knowledge and collaboration they can muster at the chance to face this team next week in our finals. We have over here the Crystal Springs Upland Griffins. <laughs> And they are taking on the Sacred Heart Gators. <laughs> Two vicious mascots, but I know you will play like gentlemen as we start with the collaboration round. <laughs> and gentlemen, you must be as you work together for a chance of scoring 10 points after 10 points after 10 points. That's how much each of these questions is worth. I'll go back and forth asking each team the question. You'll have 10 seconds to confer, and your captain will give me your answer. If it's right, you get the points. But if it's wrong, the other team will have five seconds to collaborate and steal those points. Good luck to both teams. We'll start over here with Crystal Springs. First question. After the death of the Lindbergh baby, what crime became a federal offense? Kidnapping. Kidnapping is right for 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> what American author's works include The Bridge of San Luis Rey and Our Town? Thornton Wilder. Thornton Wilder is mm. right for 10 points. Which country is the reigning World Cup soccer champion having won the title in 1998? France. Whoa, ho, ho, 10 points. <laughs> <coughs> what is Greece's largest island called? Crete. Crete's right for 10 points. A line, L1, has equation 7x minus 4y equals 5. A line, L2, is perpendicular to L1. What is the slope of L2? Can you repeat the line of L1? 7x minus 4y equals 5. Negative 7 over 4? Yeah. Negative, negative 7 fourths. I see that that is wrong, so I'm going to turn over to Sacred Heart for a chance to steal. You know? Pi. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> I have negative four over seven. What a huge, oh, yeah. Yeah. What oh, a huge good. dog. <laughs> Next question goes over here to Sacred Heart. Three years ago, this country's House of Lords ended a thousand years of tradition by voting to give a monarch's firstborn daughter the same claim to the throne as a firstborn son. Name the country. It has to be Britain. Yeah. Great Britain. That is correct, <clears throat> 10 points. Crystal Springs, your next question. From his poem, In Memoriam, this poet's lines have become famous. Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. The author's name? I don't know what you guess it. Could I have Poe? Guess it. Sure. Poe? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it. I don't know. Try Shakespeare. No, it's not Shakespeare. Ben? Quiz kids. <laughs> Tennyson. Oh. So close. <laughs> Next question, and it is yours again. What French explorer founded Quebec in 1608? <laughs> French Ben. Champlain. That is correct, Champlain. <laughs> It's not that bad or the <laughs> I'm sorry, the rest of these questions are upside down. I can't, oh, here we go. <laughs> it might as well have been. Thimbu is the capital of what small Himalayan nation? 
No, that's Kathmandu. Oh, that's right. Um, go with... What else is over there? <laughs> Turkmenistan? Yep. Me. Oh, sorry. Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Bhutan. Bhutan is right for 10 points. <laughs> You're just there, right? <laughs> Helium is one of the five elements identified as a rare gas or inert gas. Name the other four. Xenon, argon, neon, radon. Xeon, argon, radon. What's the fourth one? Xenon, argon, radon, radon. Neon. Neon. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Can you name the four rare or inert gases besides helium? Neon. <coughs> then it goes uh, xenon. Krypton. Krypton. Xenon. Uh, neon. neon, krypton, radon. and radon. No, I'm sorry, you missed argon, not oh. radon. But it is your turn, Crystal Springs. The high-tech firm Oracle admitted it had hired a detective agency to keep an eye on which rival? Uh, Informix? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Can you tell us, Sacred Heart, and steal the points? Uh, Microsoft by going through their garbage. Microsoft by going through their garbage. Ten yes. points. <laughs> I have thought of an ingenious proof, but do not have room to write it in this margin. Words to this effect have bedeviled mathematicians for years until what famous unsolved problem was deciphered by a Princeton professor? Fermat's last theorem. Fermat's last theorem. That's right. For ten points. <laughs> Your next question, Crystal Springs. La Scala, the famous opera house, is located in which Italian city? Venice. Venice. Take it. Go Venice. Venice? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal it. Florence. 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 Rome. Milan. Florence. 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 Rome. No, Milan. Oh. But it's your question. Oh. Earl Washington Jr. spent nine and a half years on death row for a murder he didn't commit. What kind of test proved his innocence? DNA testing. That is correct for 10. And the sound says the round is over. And we show Crystal Springs at 20. Sacred Heart in the lead with 80 points. We'll take a quick breather and uh, introduce our team members here. Now, we've been talking about political hijinks and shenanigans over at Crystal Springs for the last few rounds that you've played. And finally, it's come down to this team facing off in a pretty momentous political fight next, for next year. Two of the members of this team are going to be running for Senate. Lee Ming Zen, you are the captain and one of these Senate challengers. And Mike Bauer over the end is the other one. So, Lee. Is it going to be a clean or dirty fight? Should be clean, I think. Uh, I have, unless you know, Mike wants to play dirty. But uh, I think it's great that I have some Not TV Lee time. Vote for Lee. <laughs> Last time in my presidential campaign, I think it was a lack of TV time that did me in. Okay. Well, tell both our viewers exactly why you would be the. No, I'm kidding, producers. Tell the thousands of viewers of Quiz Kids why you would be a fine candidate for Senate. Tyson Mao isn't my campaign manager this time. <laughs> Speaking of which, we have Tyson Mao, <laughs> the man who won't be campaign manager. Tyson, since you're not going to be involved in politics at all this spring or next fall, what is going to keep you uh, occupied until summer comes? Well, last week after <coughs> watching the Sacred Heart match, I wrote a haiku, and it's um, his name, Li Ming Zen, ocean of sweat pours on stage, Sacred Heart is wet. <laughs> Give him a big hand. <laughs> What are you doing this summer, Tyson, besides writing? This summer? We didn't discuss that before. Oh, okay, all right, never mind. We'll move on. Mike Bauer. Oh, yes. <laughs> I try and tune out when they're talking. I know, I know you do. <laughs> a little bit of class at the end. Thank I understand you. you made a big sacrifice to be here with us today. Oh, yeah. What I, did you do? Well, it wasn't really much of a sacrifice, seeing as how they play, but I had to leave the Sharks team. Uh, in the midst. Had to leave the middle of the Sharks yeah. game. I'm sorry. But who, who you, who's the team you really root for? I, I really root for the Penguins. Oh, okay. So it's, it was okay, even though they lost, even right. though the Sharks lost. So. Now, there are going to be two senators out of, you know, how many candidates you have. So it's possible that you and Lee will work together. Yeah. Uh, do you feel that the work you've done on Quiz Kids will prepare you just in case you both win and you can be 
senators side by side? Well, I think our uh, many days and months now of arguing over which answer we're going to say is wrong um, <laughs> uh, is preparing me for uh, many arguing afternoons with Lee. That was a very smooth answer. Yeah. That was a true senator's answer. Congratulations. Oh, I hope you, you two don't both do very well in the upcoming election. And I just want to say that um, I, before we introduce your coach, I just noticed that the Griffin is looking truly sharp. He's got a little, he's, he's got a little comb in the side. Yeah. For weeks, for weeks, I have been begging that that bird be cleaned up. And it looks like you've all taken my advice. And an even cooler bird who works with you and makes you guys the best team that you are is your coach, Mr. Wells Wadley. Yeah. Now, for those of you who are watching us in your fifth rerun in November, this is the week after spring break, and the members of the Sacred Heart team all went into in, intriguing places for spring break. Ben Wang, Captain, where did you go for spring break? I went to Whitman College in Walla Walla, Washington. Walla Walla, Washington. Walla Walla, Washington. Wow. <laughs> Walla Walla, Washington. I love that word. There are, there are <laughs> onions in Walla Walla. And there's um, one store. I, I've been there, you know. There's one store. Uh, what did you think of the college? It's small. It is small. It's a small town. Yes. Kind of up, way up in the north, and uh, it's sort of a bastion of thought, deep thinking. And do you think that may be where you want to go? Maybe. Maybe? That was a very political answer. You should run for Senate <laughs> over at Crystal Springs <laughs> Upland. Amarnath Santhanam, what did you do on spring break? Uh, I went and looked at colleges to see where I want to apply next year. Right. You're a junior and you've got a whole year to think about it. Where'd you go? Um, I went all over the place in, on the East Coast and in Chicago. Acme College in St. Louis, um, United... I was looking at the Ivy League schools. The Ivy League schools, okay. See, I'm waiting for you to do a little boasting. This is your chance. Was there any school that particularly stood out for you that you thought might be a nice place to apply to? University of Alberta. Um, <laughs> ben is telling Albert. you what to say. No, um, I really liked uh, Swarthmore and Harvard. Okay, so you think you're going to apply there for sure. Well, yeah. good luck to you. We may even see you next year on the team, and you can tell us where you got into. Max Echemendi, where did you go? I went to Italy. At last! Yes. Someplace exciting. And you didn't get the Milan question? That was embarrassing, yeah. I will admit. But I only stopped in Milan. You only stopped in Milan. And didn't I saw to... a lot of good stuff in Rome that I could tell you about. What did you see? Uh, well, let's see, a lot of churches and the Colosseum. Did you go to the Vatican? Things. Yeah, absolutely. Exciting. So that was great. Good, good for you. Um, well, and I'm sure if you end up going to England this summer, uh, maybe you'll get a, do a side trip over to Rome. You never know. Right. We'll see. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Mr. Kevin Morris. <laughs> and it's time to play the game. But before we do, I need to remind you that all our questions are checked by our magnificent judge. He's the man over there hoarding the trophy, which one of your teams might have their name etched in as the second winner of Quiz Kids. Over here we have Mr. Frank Sabote. <laughs> Frank, I noticed you were trying to etch your name into that, and I want you to leave it alone, okay? All right, we'll be back for the second round, but first, let's look at this video about Crystal Springs Upland. <laughs> Crystal Springs Upland School served 350 students in grades 6 through 12 on a historic 10-acre campus in Hillsborough. CSU draws students from all parts of the Bay Area. Active participation sparks a unique educational environment with many opportunities in the various academic, athletic, and arts programs. CSU is the community that challenges students academically while still creating a caring environment. The positive environment that this small community creates is noticeable all over campus. Stop by the theater when the entire CSU community gathers for morning meetings to share a few minutes of news, thought, humor, and celebration. Or walk across campus to our commons and see kids enjoying a break from their studies. Head over to the field and watch a friendly football game. Top-notch and engaging teachers, small class sizes, and the best available teaching tools 
are all part of the endeavor for academic excellence. All our classrooms are wired and have internet access through a T1 line. Language students have a great new digital language lab, and the computer lab sports the latest technology. CSU is a wonderful place to learn, grow, gain confidence, and make friends. The CSU experience truly is a unique one. Okay, it's time for one man and each team to stand alone and shine. It's the face-off round. Tyson Amarnath, if your subjects had been sports and current events, then... by the Chronicle. Exactly, and you would have a big debt of gratitude you owe to them for supplying all the sports and current events questions we hear on Quiz Kids. But you have chosen math and you have chosen science, the two subjects that I excelled at in school. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, oh, that's my mother who's laughing. She's over. I was a literature person. I'm going to ask these questions to you one by one, and if you get the answer right, you earn 10 points. If you don't get the answer right, don't sweat it. We'll move on until the end of the round. We'll start over here with your first math question, Tyson. How long will it take a train traveling 50 miles per hour to go 270 miles? Uh, can you repeat that again? How long will it take a train traveling 50 miles per hour to go 270 miles? You want it in hours and minutes? Hours and minutes, yes. Five, uh, five hours and 24 minutes. That is correct. <laughs> that is also amazing, but I'll move on. <laughs> I can't do this stuff. What is the name of the theory which states that the Earth is the center of the universe? That the Earth is the center? What is the name of the theory which states that the Earth is the center of the universe? The geocentric theory? That is correct for 10 points. <laughs> what is the square root of x squared minus 14x plus 49? Uh, can you, uh, square the root? square root of x squared minus 14x plus 49. Uh, plus or minus x minus 7? Judge? No, we were looking just for x minus 7. Next question. Of antiseptic, anesthetic, astringent, and emitic, which is a substance that tends to prevent the growth of microorganisms without undue injury to the body? Antiseptic. That is correct for 10 points. <laughs> what is the missing number in the following series? 125, 136, blank, 164. Repeat those again. 125, 136, blank, 164. 149. That is correct for 10. <laughs> One of the functions of this large lymph gland is the destruction of the aged red blood cells or the preparation for their destruction by the liver. Name this gland which can expand and contract as needed. The spleen. That is correct for 10. What fundamental theorem of mathematics states that no whole number can have two different prime factorizations? The uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Yes, that is fine for 10 points. This is the world's largest grass plant, which grows in tufts to a height of 100 feet. One variety, the Moluca, can grow two feet in just 24 hours. Name this plant. Bamboo. That is right for 10 points. What is the surface area? Oh, I hear that no sound which says the time is up. So we'll look at the score. Crystal Springs is at 50. Sacred Heart has a big lead at 120. <laughs> Both of you showed your skill very well, gentlemen. And the points values will double in the next game so you guys have a chance to catch up quickly. But first, let's look at this video about Sacred Heart High School.
Sacred Heart Preparatory in Atherton is an independent Roman Catholic day school founded in 1898 by the Society of the Sacred Heart. To me, Sacred Heart is about developing critical thinkers and a love for learning. And it's about sharing lives and learning together. And I think it's about celebrating spiritual life and fostering social awareness and service to others. And discovering our hidden talents within ourselves by exploring outside interests. It's about developing athletic skills and learning teamwork. And experiencing life beyond the Bay Area. I think a Sacred Heart education is all about growing roots and spreading wings. We seek enthusiastic students who can handle a rigorous academic program and contribute to our school community. Okay, let's speed things up with the lightning round. Questions in my hand are each worth 20 points, gentlemen, and I will start to ask them in just a sec. You have buzzers in front of you, your hand should be on them. The first person to buzz in gets the first chance to answer the question. If it's correct, you earn the 20 points. If not, the other team will have five seconds to collaborate and a chance to steal the points. If you buzz in before I have finished reading the question, I will stop speaking and you'll have to answer. If you get it wrong, please let me finish the question before the other team gets a chance to collaborate. Good luck to both teams. Here's the first question. What name was given to Spanish descended gentry born in the New World? Yes, Mike. Oh, it's Lee. Latinos? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal this, Sacred Heart, if you give us the answer. The Chronicle. You know, it's so close, I should almost give it to you. Creoles. Next question. What legendary equine animal could only be tamed by a virgin, pure of heart? Its horn was much sought as a medicinal. Yes, Lee. Unicorn. That's correct. For yeah. Terry. <laughs> what turns red litmus paper blue? Yes, Tyson. A base. That is correct. It's ready. Yeah. What can. Oh, oh. What peninsula is bordered by the Gulf of Agaba and the Suez Canal? Yes, Tyson. The Balkan Peninsula? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can Sinai steal it. Peninsula. The Sinai Peninsula. That is correct for 20 points. <laughs> what is the value of log base 30 minus log base 3? Yes, Tyson. One. One is correct for 20 points. What kind of tax repeal favored by President Bush but opposed by some prominent billionaires is often called a form of double taxation? Yes, Lee. Estate tax? That is correct for 20 points. <laughs> Many famous musicals are adaptations from equally famous and successful non-musical plays. Which of the following musicals was not based on a play? Oliver, West Side Story, Hello Dolly, or Yes Tyson. Oliver. Oliver is correct for 20 points. <laughs> and I'm proud of you for knowing that, Tyson. Name the team that has won four Women's National Basketball Association Championships. Mike. Tennessee. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. This women's team has won four in a row. Can you tell us the name of the team? Well, we were going to put in Tennessee. Stanford. No, I'm sorry, it's Houston Comets. Did you know that, Mike? Yes, I did know yeah, that. I thought you meant women's college basketball. By what name is the French and Indian War better known in Europe? Yes, Mike. Seven Years War? That is correct. That's right. <laughs> Who declined a Nobel Prize awarded for his novel, Dr. Zhivago? <laughs> Boris Pasternak. It's the world's largest freshwater fish. What is it called? Yes, Ben. Salmon. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can collaborate and steal Crystal Springs. Bass. Go bass. Bass? No, it's sturgeon. And it's very tasty. Mon We're not fishers over here. <laughs> like Montego chicken. Bay and Kingston are cities on Yes, Tyson. Jamaica? That's correct for 24. <laughs> 
Look at him, he's fixing the buzzer. The Fibonacci sequence begins one, one, two, three, five. The ninth and 11th terms are 34 and 89 respectively. What is the 10th term? Yes, Mike. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Uh, Sorry? Uh, 55. That's right! <laughs> Those moments are exciting. In what could cost over $200 million, a task force recommended that Florida get rid of punch cards and paper ballots and use what type of sophisticated equipment in all 67 counties for the 2002 Amarnath? Optical scanners. That's correct for 20 points. A painting by Jacques-Louis David depicts France's greatest soldier crossing the Alps. Can you name, yes, Amarnath? Napoleon. That's correct, for 20 points. Which major sports hall of fame is located in Canton, Ohio? Yes, Mike. Pro football. That's correct. We have under a minute to go. What island nation was the subject of the 1901 Platt Amendment brought before Congress? Yes, Ben. Cuba. That's correct, for 20. What Trojan princess had the skill to predict... Yes, Tyson. Helena? No. What Trojan princess had the skill to predict the future, but also the ill fortune that none believed what she foretold? Cassandra. Cassandra. 20 points. <laughs> this part of the brain regulates body temperature and blood pressure. What is it called? Yes, Tyson. The medulla oblongata. That is incorrect. You can steal. The cerebellum. Cerebellum. The cerebellum is wrong. It's the hypothalamus. What area of Florida is known by its Indian name, meaning river of grass? Yes, Amarnath. The Everglades. That's correct, for 20 points. <laughs> Two trains moving at 50 miles per hour approach each other starting at 12 noon. If they start 400 miles apart, at what time do they, a uh, mic? Four, uh, four o'clock. That is correct, for 20 yeah! points. First performed in 1974, the surgery called radial keratotomy. Keratotomy treats what part of the eye, a body? Sorry, I screwed up. I said it. I'm very sorry. We all know that real life couple, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, played Lucy and Ricky Ricardo on I Love Lucy. Who played Fred and Ethel Mertz? William Frawley and Vivian Vance. Oh, there's the sound. Oh Let's see God. the score. Sacred Heart 240, but with 250, Crystal Springs wins the game. Sacred Heart, you guys played a wonderful game, and we thank you for a wonderful, wonderful series of games. You're a wonderful group of, group of guys, and we wish you the best of luck. Yes, thank you, Ben. And Crystal Springs, you guys will be back next week to play Menlo Atherton in the final round. For a chance of a trip to London. We'll see you next week at our final match. Our special thanks to the Chronicle staff for developing the questions for sports at current events. This year's champions will be winging their way to London for an all-expenses-paid nine-day adventure to some of the world's most historic sites, courtesy of ACIS. The producers of Peninsula Quiz Kids wish to thank the following. The Chronicle, Pacific Bell, Molly Stones, Target, Jamba Juice, Century Theaters, Silver Terrace Nursery, AEIS Ronald Bland, Sam Trans, and the San Mateo County Office of Education.